this method of trading like i'm I'm more used to it on spy or excuse me um the stocks right and so uh crypto they don't necessarily have gaps like how we know in stocks but they have the the fair value gaps which are similar and almost the same uh and i I don't have as much experience so that's kind of what i'm saying so i i don't know for sure where it's coming but the same logic can be applied to have a thesis about where price action might lead itself to here for bitcoin and that might be down towards fifty nine thousand. um i would love to take a try at trading this with a small position <laughs> the futures and maybe beto could be what oh. you trade there but yeah but no but i was saying bitcoin futures like literal oh. bitcoin futures i was thinking like it might be worth a trade i mean it would have been nice to just catch it immediately as autostratic gave us the sauce um but that's that same thing where i'm saying well in a way with bitcoin if you're trading bitcoin on futures your entry does need to be a bit specific it's <laughs> yeah. depending on how much leverage you use and you don't want to be using a lot or else your life is over honestly <laughs> that liquidation man you get that alert try and open the app real quick it's gone <laughs> it is gone but we shall see um the main fbg indicator i use is um this one maybe solana will come down to 126 again That'd be great. I'll take 143, but 126 would be great again. It's always worth it to draw your FEGs manually. Yes. And just know that every FEG that the indicator draws is not important. Um, like there, there's going to be ones that, yeah, are, are, but there's going to be ones that are likely completely ne negligible. Just letting you know. But I like having an indicator regardless, just in case there's ever anything that I miss or just better um, that I quickly more identify when they are. But it's always best to do it manually. You see me, I kind of, especially on the bigger time frames, manually drawing them is way better. Because there's always, there's going to be times where a fair value gap exists that's so far back that the indicator isn't able to capture it, if you know what I mean. So it's like, even on here, let me see. Like the literal fair value gap that we pointed out that's causing SPY to drop today, the indicator didn't pick that one up. So, you know. Let me see if a different indicator picked it up, though. I'm going to XLU is going off. I don't know what it is. Okay, so a different indicator did pick it up. So if you want, there's a different one here called FEG by Nephew Sam. There's also, um, there's also Market Structure by Nephew Sam. This nephew is doing a lot for the uncles. So. Yeah, I use his. Let's take a look, cause something is going off. PCG. Should this be dead on support?
Xbox. the spy bounce. Oh. There's lots of fail. I bounce off the train line. Yeah, we, we took this mini low right here. That's layered on top of a bullish FEG. So I have to think about what uh where are we going and uh what this might lead into. XLU mm -hmm. huge fifteen minute. I'm like, what in the XLU is best man, but I can't really oh. find it. XLP, outside day now. And now an auto stratic trigger up, which might even push it further. So this might, this is a, this was a day trade for me, but this might turn into a swing potentially. Hmm. That's, what's an XLP? K O M O Pepsi. Okay. Costco, Walmart. Oh, okay. That's good for Nike, I guess. Ian was talking about Costco out of all I guess XLP. He said Costco. <clears throat> and um I wanna say he said McDonald's. I don't know if that's in there, but those are his favorite. But he was upset with McDonald's, but he liked McDonald's. So.
I'm ready to make new highs, Costco. Let that breathe. Alexa, you can go outside. Maybe. What happened with Netflix? Ooh, I don't know. Netflix, they had earnings the other day. They had good subscriber growth. They pulled back regardless of that. Had a really great day yesterday. Looks like it took that previous high that was formed after the gap. And because of that, we kind of just got back down. I don't know what XLY is doing. And I don't know if Netflix is actually in the server and discretionary. Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Solana, oh boy. Solana. is a XLE that turned on you after we had rejected this high it did what we said was going to happen that it had the possibility of outside down day or at least getting to the daily 50%. And that's exactly what it did before it bounced. Day trades. Apple new high day. Let's see if we can keep her going.
KO and XOP. <laughs> Feels pretty good, family. Just being able to see this stuff for what it is and Um, I just thought about it. Where you was gonna short the Bitcoin features? Um, I'm on a platform called Nexi now, and I use a VPN. Oh. Drop that link. I can get mm. VPN. Consumer sales might actually go outside months. <laughs> or just set up for a hammer into a two-month fish. Okay. So I, I think I might swing XLP. <laughs> <laughs> XLP and XLU were both super valid to the upside. Man, like this is calling, man. Oh, it feels good, man. Feels good. You know, it feels good. <laughs> yeah. KO bussing right now. Going crazy. Mike, you're doing the Lord's work. Oh, yes. Hi. <laughs> Are you a Nike? What'd you say? I just said sing, Jazz. Oh, sing. Got you. Thank you. I, um, damn it. You always come off when I be wanting to text you. I just ain't texted. I was listening to, um, Corinne Hawthorne. It's her songs, her testimonials. My God. Oh, yeah, I thought she was. told me about her. Yeah. Yeah. She a lot of came from, um, she came from The Voice. She was off The Voice. Right, right, you said that. Yeah, she fired. Well, gospel. Anybody mm -hmm. interested? Mm -hmm. What do you say? You already know about Maverick City. Of course. Yes, yes, yes. All right. That's my go-to right there anytime. Oh. I was looking at XLP. It's KO. You and next week are. I actually entered weeklies. Oh. Yeah. Big step up. Jamal's <laughs> up forty six percent on his next week. I have to give it a second. Spy is reversing pretty hard here. Yeah. yeah. What time is it? Just ten thirty. I'll wait till twelve thirty five. I didn't think. It just touched a new low. Damn, Spy, you have to take Apple with you. Oh, my fault. I... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I, did, I did it again. No, you have next week's. That's fine. Oh. <laughs> that, might be, that might work out better for me. Never mind. Oops, I did it again. 
<laughs> that might work out better. Yeah, they should. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the way Spy is jumping at this thing. I... It looks like a sector rotation of sorts, honestly, right now. Mm -hmm. You can be on the fifteen. Yeah, Spy wants to go outside day to day. Yeah, any pops? You two said it last week, though, but any pops to the upside are going to be short-lived. This is what rotating money looks like. And this is also a very good environment to get clapped. <laughs> Oh, for sure. To not even clap, but you just slowly will drain your um capital if you're not taking profit. Yeah, I've yeah, I've definitely been, um, especially recently, I've been practicing using uh, trailing stops a lot more, especially when I'm in profit, like. Mm -hmm. If it's like a good amount of profit, I'm like, yeah, let me go ahead and just throw a trail stop on here. Just see, Jay. Yeah, I'm I'm um I'm in intending at this point, because at first I was gonna take profit before, but we've just been moving so well on XLP and there's way more upside for us to accomplish that it's worth a swing at this point. At first it was just gonna be a day trade. This 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 does depend on the second half of the day, but I think at this point, directionally on the larger time frames, it's telling us up. But it, we've we've gotten such an amazing trading day already that you know. over 50%. So. Oh, brother. What do I mean by rotating money? Well, um, if I take these indicators off for a moment, we'll just look at on the left side of my screen, look at the difference between tech which is SPY and this bottom panel, which is the uh, consumer staples. Typically when things get volatile and, or not necessarily, it doesn't even have to be when things get volatile, um, but that is can, can be a reason. But let's say about things that are overbought, oversold, right? If something like SPY went up for six straight months or five straight months, whichever one, SPY went up five straight months, right? Profit taking has to happen at some point, right? And then also with everything happening in the world that they start to sell their SPY, right? Or start to short the tech market. Where if they want to keep money in the market, what, what does keep money in the market mean? Well, that means that they, uh, they, keep it in the stock and or, or they continue to trade that money taking money out of the market means that it's sitting in your bank and can't be touched right it's 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 not influenced by anything it's just very stable uh, right um and so instead of rotating or instead of putting money back in the bank uh, you can think of rotations as moving money to a different side of the market. So we would move money from something that might be overbought and is just way too high. You might take the money that was in tech and then throw it into something that's 
has more ability, especially in in uh, volatile times like war and recession, that they may put that money into the safer long-term stocks are going to exist no matter what. So why they're called consumer staples is not just because they're trying to connect two pieces of paper together, uh, but they're staple companies that are always around, right? They're like Walmart, like Coca-Cola, like Pepsi, these things that survive wartime and times and whatever you know what i mean <laughs> perfect walmart uh coca-cola pepsi costco right these are staples they are companies that can exist to continue to do well they're more stable especially during volatile periods. So that's what I mean, because right now, the consumer staples sector looks like it's about to go dumb. Like we're about to go really crazy up. That's what it looks like. And that's why I'm considering swinging. 